Welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben. Today we're going to be talking about Bleeding Love. Very excited to talk about this film. Let's jump in. A father takes his estranged daughter on a road trip in an effort to get her out of trouble. Along the way, they meet all types of strangers as their strained relationship is put to the test. So Clara McGregor and Ewan McGregor both star as father and daughter. So it's father and daughter actors playing father and daughter on screen. And because of that, the chemistry, the antagonist relationship at times that they have feels very real on screen. It feels like they are their characters. I think they portrayed them beautifully. Obviously, you know, Ewan McGregor, a lot of people think about him uh, as Obi-Wan. But if you go back and see his amazing film um, repertoire, I think you'll forget. Sometimes you forget how much he's been in that. It's just excellent. And when it comes to his daughter, she's been around as well. Go check her IMDb. But I love their interactions together. I love their story. It was often hard sore to watch. This journey that they go on, it starts off in a place that is quite dark. You start piecing it out. It doesn't spoon feed you. Rather, in interactions, through dialogue moments, through scripting moments, you get to piece together what has gone on and then it will show you. So it's a show, don't tell movie. It is also a slow burn, but that's not to say that I was bored at any point. I was riveted. Um, I was emotionally engaged with this journey. You were rooting for them to connect together. So not only is her immediate past dark, and that's kind of the reason for the trip, so that father and daughter can connect together, kind of talk about, you know, why she did what she did. But also Hugh McGregor's past, their broken relationship because of what he was into. It's a pretty much a road to recovery for both. But it's the characters that they meet along the way, the interesting moments. There is a, a prostitute moment when you see it in the film, you'll laugh out loud because the interactions for this. Uh, I thought the story beat is, is the heart of the film. These characters that they meet, the conversations they have with these people, sometimes not good, sometimes excellent, sometimes really funny, sometimes so dark. And that journey that they go on means that their relationship is starting to knit or progress. The characters are starting to talk about things that has happened in their part. So really, at the heart of it is it is love and reconnecting with family members. And then it is recovery. And all that is showcased through a beautiful cinematography of a, like a cinematic driving story. You know, it's a journey, literally. <laughs> Uh, and that for me, that the pacing played out beautifully, even though it was slow, I was riveted from their performances and the story. I couldn't wait to see what else they would uh, get up to or not really get up to, but like what else they'd experience on that trip. And then when the emotional gut punches came, because you knew they were going to come in places, I felt them. I, I thought this was a great story that I don't know that many people are going to find. I think it's at cinemas locally uh, today, but it very like small cinemas i believe it might be on streaming soon or if not already but f check this out if you love that sort of storyline you know that kind of really building those characters connecting as father and son if you like ewan mcgregor you're gonna love him in this i just felt like this is like a, a hidden gem that's gonna get passed by so i really wanted to cover it let me know your thoughts and feelings had you even heard of bleeding love do you like human mcgregor movies which is your favorite of his apart from um, the Obi-Wan character. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember. Wait, did I rate this? No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm going to give this four Nicolas Cages out of five. <laughs> you got one. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember. Live long on Tuesday.